Okay, so here we have our hot plate set up with a temperature probe that is connected to Logger Pro on the computer there. So what we have right now is two styrofoam cups that's going to serve as our colorimeter. It's capped right now, and so what we're going to do is we're going to add 50 mils of our 1.0 molar HCL, and we're going to get a three minute uh, stabilization period to uh, get the temperature to stabilize. So we're going to go ahead and add our one molar HCL solution here to the calorimeter. So we added all of it. We're going to cap it. Add our temperature probe. And then in Logger Pro here, we're going to hit collect. And we are going to do a three minute uh, stabilization period before we add our one molar ammonium hydroxide solution. We're going to go ahead and add our one molar ammonium hydroxide solution to the calorimeter. So I'm going to remove the temperature probe, uncap, and I'm going to do this quickly. After adding the ammonium hydroxide, we're going to wait until the recording stops at six minutes. We're going to look at our data and we're going to see the change in temperature. Okay, so now we're, so now we're going to add our 100 mils of DI water to start part C of the lab, where we're going to do the enthalpy of solution. I have here my weighed out ammonium chloride, but I'm going to add that after I let the calorimeter stabilize for about three minutes, the same way we did on the previous steps before. Here's our water. Now we're going to be adding, uh, adding our ammonium chloride. It's been three minutes. in. And we're going to let the six minutes pass as last time. So here we have, so we have our data for all four trials step B and step C here in this Excel sheet that will be sent out to you. All of the data is already in graphs for each trial and it will be your task to do um, part D of your lab procedure uh, which is to extrapolate the data, uh, put the line of best fit to each graph and present the data to Elsa when you're done.